Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. I'm going to give you guys a real quick video because i got to go back into work. But I was just reading this article coming out of Reuters talking about how a... What is it? Something about a strengthening dollar could cast shadow over emerging markets. Uh, I can't remember the title, but it was something like that. Um, anyway, very interesting because if you think about this right now, the United States dollar has been weakening for quite some time. And people are pretty much saying that the dollar is done for. It's going to go to zero, whatever. The dollar is going to crash. But... You know, everything has cycles to it. And when you have market downs, you have market ups and things will turn at some point. And when they do, it's going to be very impactful on the rest of the economies around the world. Now, we just don't have to look here at the United States to realize that what a dollar strengthening can do and what a dollar weakening can do. Now, a dollar strengthening is a very interesting thing for for savers. All of a sudden, they're able to buy more things with their dollars, right? The a dollar strengthening generally comes with higher interest rates because you know it's like it's not an easy money policy it's a tightening money policy so there's a big shift in things when things go from a money easy or a money lending or money printing policy into a money tightening policy or a dollar strengthening policy so right now we have an easy dollar policy at least in mind where you do a lot of money printing and buying up of treasuries and when you have a money tightening policy is when the exact opposite happens. There was a very short time here in the United States that did, that just recently occurred and it was just before the recession kicked in. They immediately had to reverse course as soon as they pretty much started the money tightening. They realized that they were gonna destroy the economy almost immediately and they just had to reverse course. So that's you know what happened there. However, right now the dollar, the US dollar index is sitting somewhere around 90 and a lot of countries right now are writing contracts with an exchange value right now set at this current level. Well if the dollar strengthens then it's going to take ever more of their currency in order to acquire the dollars they need in, in to fill the contracts that are they're writing right now. So this is you know something that I think about is like man here we are going into a slowdown into the economy. I mean people talking about how you know at least what the Congress is talking about more stimulus packages and stuff like that. Most people would probably think, especially around the world, that the dollar is going to weaken because of this you know stimulus package that the government is like insisting that takes place. And so it's like if this world is convinced of it and they write up all these contracts based on these numbers and the exact opposite begins to happen, then it puts a pretty big bind on the rest of the world economies. Now, a lot of people are thinking, man, you're nuts. It's never going to happen. They're going to continue to stimulate the economy. They're going to keep going into money printing. And I kind of thought the same thing just because that's the consensus view. But right now, China seems to be having the opposite idea. And I'm going to leave a link down in the description for that one, because it seems to me that they are moving into a like a currency strengthening position as their currency for the first time in 11 years has gone into price deflation. Strange things are happening out there in the economies right now. I'll leave links down in the description. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know.